what, what brought you out here today? No, listen, my name is Noah Shorts. I use he, they pronouns. Like, I'm just really excited that we have like the first black woman that could be the president of the United States. And you know, like my my wife, right? We're in a polyamorous relationship. The lover that my wife took is African American, and like I've learned so much about the struggle that people of color go through as a result of uh, my wife's boyfriend. And so I'm excited to really do my part to show solidarity for my marginalized communities. And like the best way to do that is to get the first woman of color to be the commander in chief. And I'm really excited. I'm so pumped. Were you this pumped and excited when Joe Biden was the nominee? I mean, listen, like I would vote for a corpse over voting for Donald Trump because he's a disgusting fascist white supremacist pig. Uh, but now, like, you know, we get to really make history. We have, you know, like I said, we have the first woman of color to be president of the United States. And like, you know, our country it was founded on the, on the values of diversity, equity, and inclusion. And, and, and in Kamala Harris, there's nothing embodies those values more than a Kamala Harris presidency. So I'm, I'm pumped, like I'm ready. You know, I am so excited. I am, I'm a, a proud, White dude for Kamala Harris, baby. Let's go. Woo! Yo, so we back in here for another edition of your mother. And I ain't even gonna play that whole shit out. What I will do is say that is what you call, ladies and gentlemen, a submissive white cuck. Now, I can't even give him props for getting with a black woman and learning the plight of black people. I can't help but notice every time a white man gets with a black woman or a person of color and they get explained the uh, oppression aspect of black living in America, they turn into these subservient wussies. Now, the reason I say he's a wuss, the man got the, the Rastafarian hair gear, headgear on. He's a, in a polyamorous relationship, which means his bitch fucks anybody she want and it's his wife so it's not like it's his girlfriend which makes it even more insulting because he says that her boyfriend which is plenty fucking weird and the boyfriend is probably a black dude so this white dude is just he's taking the plight of black people and he's become basically essentially a cuck Right, normally, and I like the fact that the white dude that's interviewing him asked him, Was he that ecstatic when Joe Biden was running for president? And he wasn't. Now, I don't blame him for not being. <laughs> We've had 44 white presidents, or 45, however you look at it. And um, yeah, I think the tide can change. I do think we need some brown people running this shit. Um, but all the reasons that he named for Kamala Harris being president stupid reasons right she's not she doesn't have any good policies I mean if you want to kill your baby and you want the right to do that I mean I guess you got that it's fucking up money right now with Biden with all these damn illegals I only have reason to believe that's going to continue if she is elected as president so um, let me just give like my opinion white guys out there look it understand the plight stop being submissive and like turn it into whatever the fuck this is this dude is weird and he didn't name any substantial reasons why Kamala Harris should be president now that doesn't mean because I'm railing against Kamala Harris that I'm for Joe Biden I think Joe Biden is a retard and that doesn't mean that I support Donald Trump I think tr Donald Trump while I don't think necessarily that he's uber racist I think he's a, he suffers from DWS for the people that follow me know what that is if you don't go watch some videos in any event if you like this episode know what to do and i'm out